Hello from Indy. All right, guys, let's uh, let's finish this short grip up. Um, I told you initially that I was going to do four videos. I don't think I need to do four. I think three would be okay. I don't need to split up the the difference between the Yukon and the factory unit. So we'll just do one video uh, and wrap this up. I need to get going. As you can see, I'm ready to get going on assembly of everything else. So um, let's wrap this up. First thing I want to show you is, and you can stop this video, this is the instructions if you are using a Yukon unit. This is how you would assemble your clutch pack. You have three choices. The top is your most aggressive, just your middle, and the lower will be your smoother choice. And again, I'll zoom in on that so you can read that. Okay. And as we go over here, this is your factory setup. This is your side gear and your side gear retainer. So your case cap and or, which is this, your case cap or your case will be represented by nothing over here. Okay. As you can see, there's a little concave shape to that. This would go like this. So it's like a bowl will go to the case cap. So this is the case cap. We grab this. The bowl or the concave side would go in here, down. Okay? That's what that's representing on both. It would be the same way over here. On your Yukon units, you can see you've got some choices. See how you, you got your concave and a concave spacer. Same thing here, the concave, but it's a flat spacer, clutch, spacer clutch. And then on the bottom, you can see you have a, a uh, your flat clutch. Then the concave clutch inverted the other direction with the washer. Okay, so just pay really close attention. Okay, that smoothest, middle, firm for the Yukon factory. Okay, so let's get going with the assembly here. So we're going to start with the lower part of the case. I've got a pack. I'm going to turn it over. You can see what I'm doing. So there's that concave. You have concave and convex. You know that. I think I got it right. Take some friction modifier and wet both sides. I'm calling these the clutches. I think uh, I don't remember what the factory calls those clutches. I think they just call them. Uh, I don't remember. I think discs or oh well, right here. They call them dish plates, flat flat plates and discs. So this is a plate according to the factory so we're going to take the curve because i'm going to set mine up in the middle okay and we would set this down okay again i put the friction modifier on the plate get it good and wet with the plate and then your disc which i would just call a spacer Okay, put that in there. Another clutch or flat plate, as the factory would call it. So the first one was your dished plate. And let me get my terminology right. Your dish plate, then your spacer, then a flat plate. Oops. Another spacer, another flat plate. And that's how I would set mine up. Okay, now I'm going to use this here, your side gear, and just turn it to get all those teeth lined up. Okay, now it's bottomed out so we know it's there. Okay, then your side gear retainer goes next. Get that down in there, and it's got to be, you know, all those teeth got to line up in an order there. 
Then we can use this again, same thing, and we know it's all the way down, all right? So that's that. Next is our pinion shafts, spider gears, as I call them, or pinions, as the factory calls them. And there's your spacer, your pinion shaft spacer. And again, like I said, if that's damaged or broke or whatever, you can get, you can get those new too. So I'll set this over with one hand. And I want to point out again, I've pointed this out a few times. You can, it's so hard to see with the lighting, but this has got a V shape on the top and this has got the V shape on the bottom. So we want the V shape, like imagine like that's a boat hole to be in the V of the lower plate. So we take this, we set that there, get our pinions all lined up, right? So you come over here and you look and you can see the V. Now it's not going to settle all the way down until we compress it when we torque things down. However, if you are to use the smoother setting, it would settle down more. Okay. But anyway, so we got that. Our next, our other side gear. Side gear retainer. All right. And now our clutch pack. And this is going to go on the opposite. Okay. We'll use a flat disc, a spacer. A flat disc, a spacer. Then the dished disc. With the bowl of it facing up now against the case cap, okay? We'll go like that. Now we know we've got to kind of line these up here, do it by hand, save me a little trouble. Okay. And make sure, again, this is your last chance. Make sure all your pinions are facing the right direction. Make sure everything is, is down, okay? Don't, don't force stuff. Take your time. This is a piece of cake. Don't be stripping your bolts out. Everything should go together really easily. All right. So now I'll put a case cap on, line my markings up. Now this is the point where I told you, well, you forgot to mark it when you took it apart. How do you figure out which way it goes? All right, guys, I'm going to review this one more time. There's a V at the bottom and on this one, on the case cap, there's a V, okay? Then on the opposite side of where those are, the V is up and it's round below. What I'm telling you is, there's a 50-50 chance you're gonna get this right. So take your case cap and set it up with your markings, or if you didn't do your markings, set it on there, okay? Goes right down. Now, probably won't be able to see this on the phone, but as we look down in there, the bolt holes, every one of them lines up just right, okay? And you can't see it. If I have this backwards, they won't line up. So you'll have to adjust those, all right? Also, if I'm really got it boogered up, this V on the top won't even be there. So you got a V and a half moon. Now the V's on the bottom and a half moon top and on the bottom. You following me? So it's not that big a deal. Then I'm going to point out again, we're going to take all of our bolts, drop them all in there. Okay. And we're going to lower those down by fingers. And if there's any resistance, we jiggle this thing around. Okay. If I, again, with two hands, this is a piece of cake. See, I just barely move it. Now it goes down. Okay, that one goes. This one's going. This one may go all the way down. Yeah, see, so everything's getting lined up. And we're not going to force anything like that. We're going to pretty much snug them down by finger, with fingers. 
okay? If one of them kind of hangs up a little bit, get the case lined up so you don't strip anything out. Then we're going to snug it down to the torque setting, which is uh, 45, okay? And again, we're watching. We're not, if anything seems cattywampus, stop, figure it out, fix it. We want to make sure these V's are nice and snug on the bottom and the top. Okay, and then once you've got everything torqued down, you're at your 45. You're happy with the way everything looks, went. You feel good about it. Double check everything. Take all your bolts back out slowly. Use red Loctite on them and do your final torque on them, okay? And that's it. You're done with this. Um, we may go ahead and do another video on assembling a uh, 489 case. This is just an empty case, so we'll see um, if everybody wants me to do that or not. I think that's it. If you have any questions, um, feel free to just uh, ask your question in the comment below there. Um, I can do another video if I need to clar clarify something or if, if I've really messed something up, let me know and we'll, we'll do an update on that too. And uh, that's it. Later.